The long weekend is coming up for a lot of folks, and uh, we're hoping the weather would be amenable to going outdoors, but apparently <laughs> not. A little bit of sunshine. Apparently not. A little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're starting off with this big storm. We Here we are. It's right in the middle of the commute, and oh, the timing. And, and the wind. We just can't stop talking about the uh -huh. wind uh -oh. this season. Yeah. So tonight, you may hear it howling again. Let's get started with the rain, though. Um, and I do have some good news, though. By the end of the weekend, a eh, little, little sunshine for you. <laughs> Something to hold on to. All right, so you can see the wind or the uh, rain coming up from the south and southwest. At times, a little heavy, especially over the Olympic Mountains. So as you imagine, the rivers will probably reach flood stage or just over, uh, especially throughout Mason County. Uh, and this will probably happen closer to midnight or early tomorrow morning. These bands of heavy rain, anytime you see those shades of orange, you've got about three quarters of an inch of rain falling uh, per hour. Of course, this is moving, but if it were to stay there for an hour, you get three quarters of an inch of rain. This line extends all the way down through Chehalis. It's starting to move up toward Olympia uh, into uh, Tacoma. We've got some scattered showers as well. Light rain in Seattle over to West Seattle. Kitsap Peninsula getting some pretty decent moderate rain coming in at this point. A lot of this, as you would imagine, you get the rain shadow effect up to the north. Mount Vernon and Bellingham won't get the big impressive totals, but along the coast, an inch to an inch and a half, and same for South Puget Sound. Here's the system itself, and the tail end of this extends all the way down to the south. As this passes up overhead tomorrow, we'll get the chance for a few more spotty showers, but not a whole lot after we had those rainfall totals that we just talked about, an inch to an inch and a half. 630, there you go, on the UW High Resolution model, this is exclusive here to King uh, 5, and it's taking into account the mountains, the valleys, how it all interacts with our weather patterns, so it's pretty unique to us. 830, most of the rain and the energy has moved off into the higher elevations. Snowfall levels will jump up to about 5,000 feet tomorrow, but then drop back down through the remainder of the week. 10.30 tomorrow morning, a few scattered showers through about 1 o'clock. I think that's the best time frame to get some of those showers as far as the wind, 20 to 25 miles per hour, even 30 as we go through tonight, especially after midnight to about 4 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll stay with the breezy conditions for a good part of tomorrow before the winds start to die down into Sunday. Sunday, a little more quiet around here. In fact, we'll see some sunshine as well. Now, we do have a wind advisory. It was a wind watch that's been downgraded to an advisory through tomorrow, 6 o'clock for the coast, the northwest interior gusts could get up to 45 miles per hour. We also have a winter weather advisory uh, up to the north through 4 o'clock Saturday morning. We could get another 10 inches of fresh snow. Here, by the way, is the seven-day forecast. Let me get this going for you. Look at that. We've got a break for you as we go into Sunday and even into Monday. So, yeah, nice. Not too bad. Rain does come back next Tuesday, though. Mark and Lori.